down the highway probably about 75 miles an hour and uh, pretty smooth so I'm in the back of a 2005 F350 uh, diesel with um, eight foot bed and uh, I've installed this uh, bed rider truck bed seating system and unfortunately uh, they no longer sell these uh, so I'm going to try to figure out uh, what, what went wrong with these and uh, figure out a way to bring them back because I really like them. Um, I really like this setup. Uh, the truck bed seating is bolted to the frame of the truck in three different spots. It's easy to remove. Uh, the seats, you know, put some gel pads in here, made the seats a lot more comfortable. Uh, my oldest son, he's uh, back here listening to an audiobook. Smile, buddy. There you go. Smile like you're having fun. And uh, we love it. So, the, and then you can see there's my wife driving. And uh, we've got, uh, you know, uh, four of the other kids there in the car seats. And uh, my fourth grade daughter, she's up, she's up in the passenger front seat. So, uh, yeah, there's seven of us. So that's why we had to install this uh, seating system. And uh, there's also other reason is, is I wanted to be able to work while we drive. That was important to me. And we tried renting a 30-foot RV, drivable RV, and uh, drove down to Florida in it. And uh, the kids were too loud if I was anywhere near the front, sitting in the passenger seat. Uh, if I went to the back, it was bouncing around. Um, maybe that's just the type of RV we had, but you know, RV is also expensive. Um, so this uh, it's a lot cheaper, a lot more functional, and I uh, I love the truck camper setup. So that's why uh, I set this up the way I did. So I want to be able to work, but there's definitely some important things you need to do uh, to make this work. You know, the temperature control is absolute must. And uh, you see here, I've got the cab window open, um, and it's feeding us AC. And the only way it's doing that is I've got a 29-inch bicycle tire and tube sealing um, that gap between the cab and the fiberglass cab. So you absolutely have to have that. This, this won't work. Um, I got a little fan that's kind of up there helping us. Uh, just kind of hung that, helping us. Uh, just moving a little bit of air back here. So it's about 90 degrees outside. Um, I'm, I'm very comfortable. And I'll show you up here in the roof. Um, also have a, uh, a max fan up there in the roof. And uh, there's definitely sleeping. That's the key. That's the replacement for our AC, but there are times where that comes in very handy. Uh, just being back here in the back of the truck. So a couple things, uh, let me show you my work setup. Is There is, uh, as you can see, I got my MacBook Pro. It's on a wooden board desk I got from Home Depot. Got my roller wheel mouse that I like. Uh, even got this little um, Wii Boost uh, for boosting your cell phone signal. Uh, we've driven all the highway, we've driven highways across the country and you will lose a signal. This thing's awesome. Uh, it's the Wii Boost. And then uh, coming through the roof, so up on the roof rack, uh, there I have a solar panel installed that's feeding the line down here. And that's feeding into this, um, basically a lithium power station. There you see it. There's the uh, quartz coming in. I also have some quartz coming in from this. This is a dual battery truck. So I have uh, an extension cord for the cigarette lighter with a splitter. Um, it's running an electric cooler over there near the tailgate. Um, it's all sorts of stuff. It'll help power my MacBook Pro. I got a little 12 foot cigarette lighter adapter cord for that. Uh, charge the phone. Um, everything I need to do to uh, be productive back here. Um, I even can set up a, uh, I'm a, I'm a programmer or developer. But I can even set up a second uh, monitor as well back here. You know, one of those real lightweight. Um, I recommend using an iPad too. You can extend uh, your your laptop to an iPad as well. So uh, just give you a tour um, here of the cab. We'll go around to my son. You can just see we've. Got 
got, uh, you know, just, um, there's the windows, go around to the, uh, we're all surrounded by bedding, so God forbid we had an accident, most of the stuff around us is just all of our bedding. Uh, here's the remote right here for the max fan. I can grab carbon monoxide detector. Uh, it's not 89 back here. It's because it's in the sun. Uh, sitting right there in the sun. Uh, Walkie-talkie. This is how I communicate with my wife quickly. Sometimes I've seen stupid drivers and I quickly say, hey, watch, it, watch out. There's somebody coming up fast. Um, fastest way to think. And then the biggest thing is, is this window, I can slide this thing. So if I'm on, if I'm taking a phone call and the kids are crying and making noise, I can slide this thing really quick like that and uh, continue that phone call if I need it. And then, you know, if it gets hot, switch on the max fan. So lots of options um, back here. Oh, me and my son, we really have a good time. And one more thing that I want to tell you about this, this uh, bed rider seating system. Is it is amazing to take a nap in. No lie. Lay back like this, close your eyes. I'm taking many power naps back here. Way different than a, uh, a normal car seat. You don't have your head like this. Lean it back. Uh, I really like this, this truck bed seating system. I'm gonna try to bring it back. I think there's some issues with safety in the back of a pickup truck. Uh, is one of the big reasons. Uh, we're in a, an F-350, a lot of steel around us. Um, but I'm gonna take that into consideration. I still think there's some things that can be done to make a truck bed uh, much safer, uh, especially if you were in a side impact. And uh, hopefully this helps you uh, think about uh, wanting to get a truck camper because we're a family of seven and uh, our truck camper works awesome for us. And we love it. Thank you.